for the submittal approval of the United Society, I call this story The Curse of Ghost Pirate Davy Jones. Welcome back to my channel. I recently watched season 1 and 2 of Are You Afraid of the Dark on Amazon Prime. I used to watch the original 90s TV series when I was young. I grabbed my favorite snack and I was excited what story the Midnight Society would tell. They came together in the woods and if there was a new member, they would get blindfolded to the secret location and that told a very scary story in order to be part of that group. I have several favorite episodes. My favorite part of Midnight Society is when they threw the sand in the fire and the title of the story was worded like a dare as well as a premise. It's been 20 years of the original series, but they're continuing a slow drift away from the origins. However, to keep the tradition alive, the new rebooted version of this TV series is definitely a game changer. It gives scenes their own American horror story. In the new sixth episode season of The Curse of the Shadows, the series starts over a new cast in a new town, Shadow Bay. It feels like a direct homage to Stephen King's fictional marine town of Castle Rock, a dairy coastal hamlet with plenty of secrets. What I like about this series, it's a little darker, they expand the story of the main cast, you get to see their daily life at school, but at the same time, the stories they also tell are also happening in their town. There are several things I recognize in the first episode of season 2, the comic cover of that crazy jester, that ghastly grinner, I could not stand his face, seriously. It was just too much to look at. That's a face you can never forget, seriously, I couldn't stand looking at that face. I've also seen the first episode of season 1, The Carnival of Doom, I was entertained, great story, Fun of so the main cast were great. I also do recognize some of the main cast from other movies and TV series as well, such as Stranger Things and of course that movie It. <laughs> However, I absolutely enjoyed season two. The show starts with a mystery right out of the gate. It has great production value, clever jump scares, fun storytelling. This takes a refreshing stance of diversity of characters are represented equally. There are moments I was laughing and times I got a little freaked out but the Midnight Society is just a tradition of passed down from generation to generation. It's one that can be held at any town. All you need is some of your closest friends, a bond pit fire in the backyard, or a meeting place inside your home. There's always Zoom, create a unique stories, research interesting urban legends, ghost stories, carnival. Firstly, carnival and ghost pirate stories are my personal favorites, love hearing all the time. And most of all, come up with a cool original name for your group. There's endless. I know there's probably a Harry Potter society that probably has such creative stories that they can also tell so you can totally start your own spooky storytelling club <laughs> i'm just saying y'all the midnight society in their search of connor are taking viewers along with them welcoming the into the decades-long tradition where stories were swapped onto tv frightening children and teens with stories of monsters like the ghastly grinner or tranquilquist dolls like slappy but also suggesting that maybe there is a little more to the world than you might see you can find it if you're brave enough when lights go out. <laughs> I do look forward to season three, but also I do want to mention that I'm also a Goosebumps fan. The show was a part of my childhood growing up and I enjoyed the movies. Of course, Sloppy. And according to IMDb, they're working on a Goosebumps TV series. What do you guys think of the rebooted TV series of Are You Afraid of Dark? Do you like season one, season two, and are you looking forward to season three? Let me know in the comments below. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next motion picture or trailer review. Love yourself always, and remember, be excellent to each other. All right, guys, see you in the next picture. Cheers.